My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training and this is a view on befriending your body. So what you'll get from this short video is a better understanding of what's gone wrong in society in relation to how we view our bodies and what we can do about that in order to be happier, healthier and to have better relationships. So often people that I meet and many people today I think are, um, are not in touch with their bodies, they're not aware of their bodies and they might even dislike their bodies which is it's a real shame. Um, I think this comes from certain religious traditions. I think in the world today it's enhanced by the kind of education system we have, um, by the media, particularly the views of the body that are portrayed that we're then supposed to compare ourselves to. Um, also by the kind of work that a lot of people are doing. It's very you know, electronic, very cognitive, very quick. It's quite what we call disembodying. If you add to that kind of gym culture where we're kind of con uh, encouraged by this consumerism to see our bodies as its, as objects, uh, and then trauma that a lot of people have that again take them out of their bodies, then what we have is a real societal kind of culture of objectification. Objectification is a big word. All it means is you're turning the I of the body, the fact that we are embodied creatures, yeah, turning that into an it. So we say in the English language, we say I have a body, like we say I have a car. Well, it's like, well, well, who has the body, right? Where are we in that? Well, actually, that's a mistake. We are embodied. So we become, again, dissociated, this um, removal from our bodies. So this is a real pity because, um, you know, our body is where the pleasure is. It's where all our emotions are. It's how we um, connect with other human beings. Uh, it's how we know if we've had enough to eat or if we're tired. So it really affects our health. It's a big part of our communication. So it affects our leadership, our impact and influence. Our intuition, spirituality, all these areas we need to be in touch with our bodies. So it's, it's a real shame, the kind of consumerist objectification. So what do we do about it? How do we reclaim our bodies? How do we befriend our bodies? Okay, the first one would be to clean up your mental environment. So certain magazines, films, websites, there's a lot of ways of uh, taking in harmful media which objectifies the body. So cut all that out. Also, don't buy products from, from companies which do this. Just put a bit of pressure on those companies to, to not sell through this kind of um, distorted body image and this distorted relationship to the body. Next up, when you're washing, say thank you to your body. This sense of acceptance, yeah? This sense of, yeah, thank you, okay? Whatever's there, just saying yes and saying thank you, however you are. You can also take up a body awareness practice, so yoga, tai chi, dance, martial arts, it can be gardening as long as it's with awareness of the body while you're doing it. Next up, if you have a friend or a partner who criticizes your body, tell them to cut that crap out. You can put some boundaries in place about what is and isn't okay in, in regard to this with other people. Lastly, see the beauty of other people with all different kinds of body types. Not comparing yourself, but just saying, wow, that's great how you are, that's great how you are. It's because the way we think about other people, the way we treat other people, is how we end up treating ourselves, and, and vice versa. So there's my tips. If you have any more tips on your own about befriending the body, um, please put them in the comments, and remember to subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. Thank you.